so hey guys welcome back once again and in this video i'm gonna talk about guest mode on control net section first of all let me tell you that guys i was just trying to generate some of the logos using alphabet on control net as one of my viewers just asked me how you can generate logos on control net so i will definitely make a video on like logos later on but first of all in this video we will try to mess with like guest mode so why it is used and how it is used and what is guest mode so we will discuss about guest mode in this video but first of all let me ask you guys if you have ever used guest mode earlier then do let me know in the comment section below how to use this perfectly and what i learned first of all let me tell you guys as you can see over here guest mode is nothing but a non prompt mode this is a second name of the guest mode and yes this is experimental thing so what is guest mode in guest mode you don't need to add any of the prompt so that's why it is called non prompt mode and it is said that it will completely unleash the power of very power control net encoder that's what is said about guest mode and yes you don't need to prompt in guest mode first of all this is how guest mode work without prompts so first of all let me tell you how does it work guest mode works like it uses control map just like depth map edge map script bus just like this map let me show you this map and based on these maps like edge map scribble map and like depth map it will automatically recognize what it is and based on that it will automatically generate image like this as you can see i was just using guess mode and like alphabet a over here and you can see there was no prompt that i was using and it automatically generate this result so basically that's how guess mode work you don't need to add any prompt and the next thing in order to use guess mode it is recommended to use 50 steps and guidance skills between 3 to 5 so that's what we will use as you can see 50 steps and cfg skill to like 4 we will try on 4 so now guys let's start with like basic settings you can see no prompts over here and sampling steps 50 cfg scale between like 3 to 5 so we will go with like 4 enable control net low vram i'm using low vram guess mode so first we will try with without guess mode so canny preprocessor and canny model we are using so that's the only thing that we are using first of all and we will see what result do we get without guess mode first of all so guys as you can see this is the result that we got with like without guess mode first of all with no prompt no negative prompt and this is the result that we got pretty simple a result alphabet and you can see minus one seed and 50 sampling set and without guess mode so that's the result that we got and one more thing that i want to try without guess mode is that let's go on to image browser and we will try to copy this seed as well first of all we will try with seed as well without guess mode and let's see what result do we get so let's copy this seed copy paste and let's see what result do we get with like seed so guys this is the result that we got with like seed as you can see so pretty simple image and nothing much more and see no prompt no prompt here over here and this was the seed that i was using and without guess mode and now guys one more thing that i will try without guess mode is that we will like reset this seed minus one and we will try to add just one prompt so that you can get a clear idea about this as well so we will go with like simple prompt fire and without guess mode so this is the last try without guess mode and let's see what result do we get with just one prompt so guys as you can see this is the result that we we got without like without guess mode and yes as i said i will try with single prompt fire and this is the result that we got like fire added on this and yes definitely a little bit of change with like just one prompt so that's why i tried without guess mode first of all so that you can get idea now guys we will try to turn on guest mode as guest mode is no non prompting mode so we will delete this prompt first of all fire prompt and now again i will show you the settings so 50 sampling step first of all you can see and cfg scale to like 3 to 4 and enable low vram and guess mode on this time canny preprocessor and canny model so that's it and this time we will go with like guess mode and let's see what result do we get with like guess mode so guys as you can see this is the result that we got basically it's studying this edges and this is the result that we got you can see no prompt over here nothing going on and you can definitely say yes it's working with like guess mode but i'm still confused that how to use in like practical life so that's why i asked in earlier of the video that if you know how to use it in like practically i still don't know how to use like practically so let me know in the comment section below so that's the result that we got with like no prompt nothing else and 50 sampling step what if we go with like 20 sampling step let's try with like 10 20 sampling step as well and let's see what result do we get so guys you can see on 20 sampling step definitely there is a result but not a detailed result over here that's why it has recommended as you can see over here 50 sampling steps and guidance scale to like 3 to 5 
so what if we go with like once again we will try like 50 sampling step and this time we will try like different sampler as well so we will go with like ddim and let's see what result do we get with like 50 sampling step and ddim as well so guys this is the result that we got with like ddim sampling method and like 50 sampling step you can definitely see this is the result that we got no prompt over here nothing much over here and now we will try to mess around with like cfg scale as well this is what we are going 7 cfg scale default and one more thing we will mess is weight of the preprocessor we will go with like 1.2 let's go increase weight and let's see what result do we get while increasing weight and cfg scale 7 we will go with like allr a only and let's see what result do we get so guys as you can see that's the result that i got with like couple of the changes and yes definitely there are details going on over here as you can definitely see that and yes what i changed was like cfg scale 7 sampling method all are a that's what i changed and one more thing weight of the preprocessor or model 1.2 so that's what i changed and this is the result that i got now this time we will also go with like prompt as well and we will go with like fire and let's see what result do we get with like fire as well so guys as you can see with single prompt you can see fire over here and with single prompt that's the result that i got with like guess mode on see this is the guess mode on and if i can definitely say that you can see on the screen as well compared to like earlier result without guess mode you can definitely say that this result is like totally a detailed result so that's the result that i got and yes definitely i can say that without guess mode and with guess mode and like single prompt definitely this result is amazing so yes as it is said that the guess mode or non-prompt mode will completely unleash the power of Veriful control net encoder. So yes, definitely this is the result that I got and yeah, I can definitely say that the result has lot of detail than compared to earlier result without guess mode. So that's why I showed you this result and now this time we will go with like no prompt. We will just delete this and we will add canvas. Let's add canvas. So this is the canvas and we will turn on scribble model. So we will try to scribble something and let's see what result do we get. We will try to create table first of all. Let's go with like table and on that table we will go with like cup and a saucer and we will try to add flower vase as well. So that's the flower vase and that's the table. Let's go with like leg of the table. So that's the thing and now let's try to generate with like guest mode on and no prompt see no prompt over here and let's try to generate and let's see what result do we get so guys as you can see this is the result that i got pretty like different result not what i expected because as i said that was the table and it considered this like a roadway and i don't know what it considered this this was like a cup and a saucer and a flower vase okay so it's not a flower vase but yes you can definitely see this is what i got something like a pillar and a tree above going on and something like a base going on military base that's too not a good detail and you can see like a roadway is going on that's the result that i got with like guess mode and definitely i can say that yeah it's not perfect till now because if you go on to increasing like sampling step as well then yes each result will like take a lot of time to generate as well so that's like guess that's what i wanted to talk about guess mode and that's how guess mode works i still don't know and i will ask you once again that i still don't know how to use it properly so if you guys have ever used guess mode then let me know in the comment section below on how to use it properly and what purpose in order to use this guess mode so let me know in the comment section below i will ask it once again so yes guys that's it for today and i will be back with more and more videos tomorrow till then have a good day bye guys love you all guys bye guys